Welcome, everybody. We're very happy that you're all here tonight. I'm Shirley Cloyes Diaguardi, the Balkan Affairs Advisor to the Albanian American Civic League and Foundation. And I believe that we're, we are ready here to embark on an important journey. We're recognizing at the Museum of Jewish Heritage the unique role that Albanians played in Albania and Kosovo in saving every Jew who either lived in Albania or sought asylum there during the Holocaust and then going from there to see how the Albanian role of courage and self-sacrifice and tolerance can be applied to modern day genocides, to preventing genocide in our time. Before we begin, I would like to invite Rabbi Leonard Gutman up to the dais to give us an invocation. I'm very honored to be here tonight to deliver this invocation uh, as I am a son the son, I should say, of a Holocaust survivor who unfortunately was not from Albania because my father was the only, only person of his immediate family who survived the war in what during the war was greater Hungary, but my father liked to identify himself as Czech because Czechoslovakia had an American first lady, Thomas Masaryk's wife was American, and they were a democracy between the war, better than identifying with a fascist country. In any event, Avinu Sheba Shemayim, Lord who, Father who is in heaven, bless the assembled crowd here today, again representing and commemorating uh, the great chesed, the goodness of the Albanian people, I should say the, the people of greater Albania who helped their Jewish neighbors, their friends, and even Jewish refugees during the dark years of the Shoah. And you know, those of us that are familiar with Jewish history know that there are very few helpers for the Jews in the course of our 2,000 year diaspora, or even before, I should say. In fact, you know, there are very few stories of those who stood up and helped the Jews. So it is so important that we acknowledge before God Almighty the, important, the importance of what the Albanian, the, of what people, the children, the sons and daughters of the Albanian people did to help their Jewish brethren and neighbors during the dark years of the Shoah. And you know, in Jewish tradition, we remember a lot of things. In fact, the Torah portion this week is coming up is Shmos, the beginning of the book of Exodus. And those, are, those of you that are familiar know that every name of every single person who came with Jacob to the land of Egypt is enumerated. Their names are enumerated in the Torah, in the book of Exodus. So I would like to say that those that helped Jews during the Holocaust, their names will be remembered for all time. And again, Father in heaven, let us remember that in times of crisis, this is the way in which we should be acting, with morality and in preserving our humanity. And indeed, in the spirit of the ho Jewish holiday that we just concluded, Hanukkah, which is a festival of freedom, as was mentioned before by Congressman Gibson, freedom, the theme of freedom. And one of the themes of Hanukkah is that the Maccabees said, Mi la Hashem Eli. Who is for the Lord? Stand up with me. And again, O oh Lord, all the people here today, and again, this is historic, making sure that Jews and Albanians understand their shared history and that we stand up for what is right and to take care and to preserve the idea of standing up for justice and humanity even in dark times. So, Lord our God, please bless us during this period and let us all remember the history of the past. Thank you so much. Thank you. 